You know, Himby was actually used quite commonly before sildenafil and tadalafil came on the market. Now it's extracted from the bark of an African tree and it's thought to work by working on alpha-2 receptors and antagonizing them. In 1998, there was a meta-analysis that showed it was generally effective for erectile dysfunction compared to placebo. However, it, it has some significant side effects that are concerning, and I'll get into those. And so within the studies, there's about four different studies that I've looked at. Three of them were crossover studies, and meaning that they took some a placebo and then crossed over. And it only looked at men with psychogenic erectile dysfunction. And they measured something called nocturnal penile tumescence. And so essentially they wanted to see if men had more erections at night and were they more firm and lasting longer. And what they found was that there was a statistically significant improvement in nocturnal penile tumescence in all of the studies. And they they took the supplement anywhere from 10 weeks to two months, and they got anywhere between 18 to 30 36 milligrams of Yohimbi. So as I mentioned, the side effects are pretty concerning, and that can include things like high blood pressure, increased heart rate, manic reactions, bronchospasm, palpitations, insomnia, anxiety, irritability, shivering, sweating, nausea, flushing, and headaches. And this is because it's working on these adrenergic receptors that are in the brain. And so most commonly people are feeling anxiety and agitation, but some of these are really serious side effects. You definitely don't want to take them with any medications that are antidepressants or antipsychotics, or if you have any bleeding conditions, liver failure, renal failure, seizures, diabetes, heart disease. So basically it's very few people who should even take this supplement as it is. 